My name is Morley Struess. My name is Josie Lapagard. And I'm Riley Marty. I'm Willa Nagel. And we went to Akata, Japan through the Sister Cities Foreign Exchange Program. A few of the students who had gone on the trip before, they came and presented a little bit about their experience. They showed us pictures and brought in some souvenirs that they had gotten and really hyped it up and they really got me excited and I really wanted to go on the trip. I wanted to go to Japan because I hadn't experienced much travel outside of the United States and I wanted to see a different culture and experience what it was like to be halfway across the world. This trip um, was brought to my attention through the schools and through a volunteer that came to introduce us to the program at the school. So the trip, you stay in Japan for about, or at least I did, for about two weeks and then the students who you stay with, they come to the U.S. and then stay in Red Wing for about two weeks. We got to spend nine days in Akata, and we split those days up with two different host families. I was able to, to stay with a family in Japan. I remember they lived kind of in um, a mountain area. So when we went over to Japan, we brought gifts from our homes. Before we went to Akata, we stayed in Tokyo for a couple days. Tokyo was really big, it was way bigger. We went up, you always go up in like big things, so like you can always see over the city. I've definitely never been anywhere that big. We got to meet students at the, at Ikata, and they got to travel back with us after our trip. Well, the thing that I noticed the most was that everyone was really short, but I most enjoyed the opportunity to get to know their culture and, and see it for myself instead of just reading about it. My favorite experience was going to see the fish markets of Kyoto. Um, they smelled very strongly, but it was so much fun because we got to see people tossing fish everywhere and how fresh it was because they had caught it right off like the shore of Japan, and so that was really with every temple you went to, you got to get, you would pay like 100 yen, which is like the same as a dollar, to get a little fortune. And like, usually half of it would be in Japanese and the other half would be in English. And I got these at like every temple we went to, so I have like this collection of a whole bunch of little fortunes. And then another really fun thing that we did on the trip when we were there in Ikata, we went to their festival. We climbed Mount Misen. It was a two kilometer hike up to the top and we probably picked the like hottest day ever to climb this mountain and we like, you have to dress conservatively in Japan so we were like wearing khakis and it was so hot. Most of the food, I was really shocked, I was really nervous. I am not the biggest fan of fish and so I was really nervous about going over to Ikata. Most of the food was pretty amazing. Um, there were a few things that were very shocking but um, we all tried some and we either enjoyed it or we didn't. They eat really healthy in comparison to most Americans. They also eat different breakfast foods, which I thought was really weird. For every meal, they would, my host family, they would always go um, eat tadakimas before they ate. And I'm probably pronouncing that a little wrong, but that is something I do remember. Konbanwa, um, arigato, sabimasen is excuse me, which came in handy a lot. <laughs> you know, like, sumimasen, and then the people would pay attention to you. The cultural um, differences was really surprising, and it makes me rethink any time I make assumptions about a culture. You have to really get into that culture before you can um, really understand it at all. For someone who is maybe on the fence about going on the trip or even for someone who has decided that they're going, it is something that you will never forget and it is the most amazing experience. I, it's hard to even describe but once you're there you will 
it's just so fun to be able to meet other people and learn about another culture. Um, just even eating Japanese food, it's from Japan. It's a unique experience and um, again, I'm just, I'm really glad that I did it. Well, this is a really good opportunity because you don't get a lot of chances to go and travel, especially at such a young age. I really enjoyed getting the opportunity to do that since it wouldn't have been something I would have been able to do by myself without the program of Sister Cities. I'd say definitely just do it because it's so worth it. It was amazing. Like, it changed me, definitely. I would say to any students interested that it's a great program and it's a great way to broaden your horizons and really step outside your comfort zone.